So when they are still hungry, they come back to the same pool and they take their, the rest. Coprophagy, it means they eat the same pool. What is up everyone? I've taken the bus. I've taken, I don't know what I took. I took the shuttle to Mount Etna, which is the largest active volcano in Europe. So this one we call Scoria. It's the surface of lava. If you take it, you feel it's light. The lava, the same lava, can create basalt, heavy and compact. Do you like Games of Thrones? This one is the volcanic glasses. This mineral is very easy to model and is very sharp. So they made it knife, arrow. These rocks are crayball, like a crackers. So these plants, okay, is dry, but is yellow, usually have uh, white flowers and you can make honey. And if you put the flowers into a box with the olives oil, after 20, 30 days, can you use this oil for your skin? If you have a problem like dermatite or psoriasis. So fragile. Like it was built to break off the hand So welcome, I want to introduce you a lava bomb This kind of rock go out like a bullet In 1979 there were 150 tourists Some lava bomb like this one, like a meteor It took 10 people and they went to paradise I hope, I don't know if they were catholic or not But they died The rock, okay, like this one But this one is not a lava bomb And on these rocks I find a ladybug we have made it to the top of Mount Etna. Well, actually, just this part, which is Sylvester Crater. The top is obviously way behind me. That is a lot further away to go. That will take all day if I want to go all the way to the top. This is the highest point I will go on this tour, but it's a really nice view of Sicily and everything below, and it is crazy windy. Some stuff already flew out of my pocket, which is not good. Some money and stuff, but whatever. And there's the main point of Mount Etna. Not smoky today, no lava flow. That would have been crazy to see. I would have loved to see that. We're heading back down now for a little break. This is slippery slope, still super windy too, and it's getting cold. It's windy winter time now so it is fairly cold. We've arrived now at the lava cave. I have not been to a lava cave since New Zealand and I really enjoy seeing lava caves. I just like the look of them, the feel and I got my Monsters Inc hat on right now and flashlight so I'm gonna enter right now. Yes. Ah okay. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> if you want yeah I can keep it. Watch your head and turn on your light. Look at the rocks. These rocks is like one year. So if the rocks fall down, it means that it's not safe to visit the cave. There are a big difference between limestone cave and lava rocks cave because the limestone cave need million years because the lava tunnel need just three, four weeks. This one is a lava river. Surface of lava became like a roof, but inside. Here we have a roof, the lava continue to going. Down there you can see there is a hole. The lava went down in that direction after a while break. Okay, so we are into a tube because the other side is empty. Maybe there is another cave or maybe just a hole. We don't know because if we break this part, maybe the whole <laughs> cave collapse. So we are not interested about the other side. If you have not been to a cave before, they are very cold. There's actually some bats in this cave up above, but I can't really show it because they're super tiny here. We just went out for some food real quick. It was not that good, honestly. It, it's hurting my stomach as I speak right now. I'm at the train station now. I got to take the train back to Palermo. Tomorrow is my last day in Sicily. So that is today's travel vlog. Subscribe for travel tips and more vlogs like this. I'll see you guys soon. Do you like Games of Thrones?